Today we're going to take a look at how to count atoms within a molecular formula. So here we've got a molecule and it's got two carbon atoms, two oxygen atoms, and these smaller ones are hydrogen. Turns out this molecule has the name acetic acid. It's also known as vinegar. And we rate the molecular formula as C2H4O2. So these subscripts here, the 2, the 4, and the 2, they tell us how many of each type of atom are in the molecule. So that's why we call it a molecular formula. Now it's critical to realize that if we change any of those subscripts, we completely change the molecule. If we were to write this as C2H5O2, we would get what's called ethyl deoxynol. It has totally different chemical properties. So for a given molecule, we've got to keep those subscripts the same, otherwise we totally change the molecule. When you begin to balance chemical equations, you'll often want to be able to say, oh, there's three molecules of this, or there's two molecules of that. So let's say we've got three molecules of acetic acid. There's the second, there's the third. The way we say that is with a coefficient. So we'll write a three in front of the chemical formula. that 3 we call that the coefficient and it tells how many molecules we're talking about. So now if we want to count the atoms we could start with carbon here and we'd realize that, would, that there are two atoms in each molecule. But you've got three molecules, so you're going to end up with six atoms. These gray ones are the carbons, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. And then similarly for the hydrogen, we would have four hydrogens, atoms per molecule, times three molecules giving us 12 atoms of hydrogen. And similarly for the oxygen, there's two atoms per molecule times three molecules, giving us a grand total of six atoms of oxygen in three molecules of acetic acid. Be very careful when you've got, when you see a bracket within a molecule. This SO4, it's sulfate. It's a sulfate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. And this 3 here, this subscript is saying that there's three of these sulfate ions. So our molecule actually looks like this. There's two aluminums. There's the aluminum. They're easy. And then there's three of these sulfate ions. And each sulfate ion has four oxygens and one sulfur. So if we go to count the atoms up, well, aluminum just has two. The sulfur has one, has one atom per ion, but three ions. So here we're going to get three of these sulfur atoms. You can see those, the three yellows here. One, two, three. And then for the oxygen, we've got four atoms per ion. And then we've got three of the ions. So we've got a grand total of 12 atoms of oxygen. And now if we wanted to count up the number of each type of atom in five molecules of aluminum sulfate, 
we'd put that coefficient of 5 out front. We'd count up the aluminum where we'd have two atoms per molecule times five molecules for a grand total of ten atoms. For the sulfur, we'd have one atom per ion times three ions per molecule times five molecules. So we'd get 15 atoms of sulfur. And then for the oxygen, we've got four atoms in every ion. And then we've got three ions in every molecule. And we've got five molecules. So we're going to end up with 15 times 4, 60 atoms of sulfur. So let's see if you're catching on. What I'd like you to do is count up the number of each type of atom in four molecules of tin phosphate. And there's a formula for tin phosphate. So pause the video, try the question, come back for the answer. So let's put in our coefficient of 4 here. We're going to count the tin atoms up first where we've got three atoms in every molecule times four molecules. So you're going to get 12 atoms. For the phosphorus, we've got one atom per ion times four ions per molecule times four molecules. So you're going to end up with 16 atoms of phosphorus. And finally the oxygen has four atoms per ion. And I'm going to stop writing these units here. So that's four atoms per ion times four ions per molecule times four molecules, giving me a grand total of 64 atoms. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you very much.